when Dogs 101 continues, meet one of the smartest breeds of dog. It may look like a little rough collie, like Lassie, but it's not. Shetland Sheepdogs, also known as Shelties, are delightful little dogs. Even though it's considered a miniature collie by a lot of people, it's actually not. It's a unique breed of its own. And the Sheltie has also been called a Lilliputian collie, a Toonie collie, a Peary dog, and a Fairy dog. And a Shetland Sheepdog named Pick was the inspiration for the video game Nintendogs. Shelties are outstanding loyal companions that usually weigh under 25 pounds, and they're pretty smart, too. They actually rank six out of 132 when tested for intelligence. But what this dog is really famous for is its gentle herding skills. They will herd your children, they will herd you, they will herd the ducks out in the pond in your backyard. What's not to love, except for the barking and the shedding? <laughs> Shelties are not the dog for everyone because they are really a very high energy dog. History says these little dogs originally came from a tiny island. They came from the Shetland Islands off of Scotland. And while they look like miniature collies, there were other herding dogs bred into the mix to get this dog. The first outstanding feature of the Shetland Sheepdog is its beautiful long double coat. It comes in many colors. The dog's top hairs are thick, coarse, and water repellent. Traditionally, the Sheltie has a refined head resembling a long blunt wedge. They've got a, a pointy, foxy face. And they have signature small ears. The ear sticks up and the tops kind of bend over, which is cute. These are dogs that have a great bond with their people. These are the peeps. They love Sheltie so much, they have three of them. Out of all my dogs, Foxy is my favorite. Hey, Foxy. But the bond that 11-year-old Connor has with Foster the Sheltie is really a special one. Ever since Connor has started working with Foster, he has definitely become a lot more interactive and a lot more vocal. Foster, over. Good boy. Connor is a special needs child who suffers from hyperlexic autism. When he was just three years old, doctors gave his mother a very grim prognosis. The doctors told us he would probably never speak. Connor didn't talk or interact with people for years. In fact, five years ago, this interview with Connor never could have happened. I usually have to brush him gently. He had trouble focusing his attention for very long. All right, you ready? Yeah. Faster. Over. Keep the leash loose. But Connor's life began to turn around when he asked his mother if he could start showing his pal Foster in the show ring. Over. Go boy, Foster. He just one day asked if he could try, and I could not say no to that. In the beginning, Connor and Foster struggled. I tend to rush a little. Foster, come. <laughs> okay, not a little, but a lot. I remember one of his first shows, poor Foster got dropped. Now, Connor is much more skilled to get the best out of Foster. But his biggest hurdle to overcome was learning how to lose. One day, a judge told him it was okay to come in second, and that was the revelation that Connor needed. He's learning sportsmanship. He's learning to be a gracious winner and a gracious loser. He will now go to the winner and congratulate him, he'll go to the loser and tell them they did a good job. We're gonna win the next competition, Ollie Foster. Now it's time for Connor to wow the judges at the Madison Heights, Virginia Community Center, where he's competing for a junior handler. If you're not first in the ring, count one, two, three, then go. Okay, come on, Foster, let's go. Now it's showtime. Okay, Foster's on the table. Don't panic, boy. Now, the body part test. Stop. Stop. Point of hawk. Point of hawk. Good job. Connor and Foster win first place. Thank you. I won first place in junior. It feels great. Clock. 
Connor and Foster, it works. And they're a phenomenal team together. And so, working together, this little dynamic duo has beaten the odds. Foster has given Connor the confidence he needs to freely speak and move his body. And as for Connor, he helped Foster become a winning show dog. And that's rewarding for both of them. I love you, Foster. You're a good boy. So the Sheltie can live anywhere, but remember, they bark more than average dogs. As for health, they are one of the breeds that's more likely to get hypothyroidism. They're also prone to epilepsy. In the grooming department, their coat will need to be brushed frequently. Because it's a double coat, it can mat, it can cause skin problems. And because they're so smart, training is easy. Shetland Sheepdogs make a good pet for active families. Good! In general, the Shetland Sheepdog can live anywhere, but remember, they're vocal and energetic. They can have health problems like hyperthyroidism and are prone to epilepsy. They'll need regular grooming and they're easily trained. Overall, the Sheltie can be a good pet for the owner who understands what the dog is all about.